the Cats and Lady Comets in the road red. Red shirts, red uh, shorts, blue numbers trimmed in white. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. The Rochester Lady Zebras will go right to left, and Cats will go left to right. It'll be Martinez and Hunter to jump center for their respective squads. And we are ready for the first game, home game of the regular season here for Rochester. Ball is up, and the tip is controlled by Adrian Fry and the cast of Lady Comets. Harley Lisa be with the uh, basketball. Works to the left wing to Hot. Hot bounce pass to the elbow to Fry, and she travels. So Rochester are going to get it after the first turnover of the game by the cast of Lady Comets. 11 seconds gone in the opening quarter as Riley Holland runs it up the uh, court or will walk it through the center circle for the Rochester Lady Zebras in the man-to-man -man defense. Holland works to the right wing, still with a dribble. South pass to Murphy, top of the key. Murph, a couple of dribbles, works against hot right side, picks up her dribble, feeds down little Pollock on the wing against Fry. Down to Smith, Kaylee Smith takes it outside to Murphy. Murphy between the circles, works right wing against the man-to-man -man defense. Now feeds it into Pollock, pass tipped away by Adrian Fry out of bounds. It'll stay with Rochester baseline right. 7.22 to play, first quarter, no score here at Rochester. It'll be Lady Zebra basketball baseline right as Holland looks to trigger it in. Riley still looking to get it in. Gets it into the corner to Smith. Kaylee in the corner. Looks to get it inside, but travels before she delivers a pass. So one turnover apiece by each squad, and Caston will get it back. The Lady C is trying to work the blocks, trying to get that ball down low to the bigs. Well, that and, was and Hunter heard, and Pollock. As, and, as you heard the pregame, that was yeah. Tony's, uh, one of his musts tonight, and that yeah. was to get the ball inside of the bigs. Please me. Travels baseline, down low to Martinez. Cut off by the defense, and she travels. Nice entry pass by Marley Leesenby, but... Uh, Martinez traveled as she worked down low against Hunter. 7.06 to play, first quarter, no score. Rochester, their second opportunity here. Holland brings it up the floor, works to the right wing. A lot pass to Hunter at the free throw line. Now a lot pass down low to B. Pollock. Pollock shot over Frey, that's good. B. Pollock has her first two points of the game. It's 2-0 Rochester and casting quickly the other way. Lazenby works right side, bounce pass to Martinez on the right wing behind the arc, now top to Fry. Fry sends left side to Lazenby. Works against Smith, bounce pass to Hot. I'm sorry, about to Brown. Now to Fry for three, shot no good. Offensive rebound to my work, Martinez. Caston keeps possession, down two to nothing. That's now Fry's the volleyball line. That's going to be a big stat for the cast and comments. If they offensive board? Get the offensive board. Marley Lazenby drives the baseline and loses the basketball off her hip out of bounds. And they go back to Rochester up 2 to nothing with 6.20 to play in the first quarter. At least early, that's the stat they don't want to see. Turnover. Off right, turnover. Riley Holland quickly up the floor. Works against Lazenby in the backcourt for Rochester. Holland works right wing. Looks to lob pass, but gives in the corner to Smith. Fakes a shot. Penetrates. Drives. Shot. Does no good. Fry with a re weak side rebound for Caston. Now gives the Lazenby quickly ahead to Martinez. Martinez drives the baseline, kicks it back outside to Fry. Fry at the elbow left. Now gives the lead to set up the offense for Caston. Marley, she drives around Kaylee Smith all the way through to, to Fry. She'll fire another throng three left wing is good. Caston up three to nothing. Our three's at three to two. It was 5.45 to play in the first quarter. A big shot there by Adrian Fry. Three to two, Caston. Holland works the left wing. Now inside the arc. Fast pounds in the paint to Holland. Kicks it outside to Smith. Smith, lob pass back inside to Holland. Makes that to Hunter. Off her hands and Fry picks it up. Another turnover for Rochester. Now leaves to be quickly in the corner to Martinez. Martinez back to Leesenby, high on the right side. Gets a pick from Fry, works top of the key. Picks up her dribble, gives to Adrian Fry behind the arc. She just hit a shot from there yep. moments ago. Now to Hot. Hot. In the corner to Martinez, works against Murphy, dribbles the right baseline, throws up a shot at the glass, no good. Rebound by Caston, and a putback shot by Brown is no good, but a foul coming in Rochester, and that's going to send Anna Brown to the line for two. 5.06 to play, first quarter, Caston up 3-2, to two. and Anna Brown, the 5'10 junior at the line to shoot two for her Lady Comets. Pollock's going to pick up her first left-handed free throw on the way, no good, she'll have one more. 3-2, cast it on top, and Brown with one more for the Lady Comets here with 5.06 to play in the first quarter. Brown ready. Eyes it, flies it. Nope. Hunter with a rebound. Nice hands by Rand. Hunter grabs the board and gives to Murphy. Murphy walks it through the center circle against Martinez. Now to the right wing. Gives to Smith and has it knocked out of bounds by Hot, and the cast of Lady Comets will stay with Rochester on the far side. 3-2, Caston. Murphy will look to get it in. Murph studies, 
and gets it into Holland near the timeline. Riley runs the point, walks between the rings at the volleyball line. Now works with the left hand. Spin move the free throw line. Picks up a dribble. Lot pass down low to Pollock. B. Pollock shot over the defense. It's good on the foul. Rochester up four to three, and B. Pollock, the junior, will go to the line for one free throw for her Lady Zebras. The foul is going to come against Anna Brown, her first team first. So B. Pollock at the line, the 5'10 junior with one to try to complete the three-point play. Sets herself, fires a free throw, no good. As Shore gets her own rebound, the putback is no good off the iron, and Brown to the board. Anna Brown gives the lead to me. She works against Smith, works left side, in the paint, loses the handle, ball still loose. There's a mad scramble for her, and it's going to be out of bounds. They're going to say last touch by Rochester. It'll stay with Cass and baseline left. Adrian Fry will look to trigger in the pass for Caston. Rochester up four to three with four and a half to play in the first quarter. Fry studies, gets it into Martinez, drives the paint, and throws a shot off the glass, no good. And the rebound to Hunter. Rand Hunter gives to Murphy and Carly pushes. Murph, middle of the floor, works right side against Martinez, picks up her dribble, feeds down low to B. Pollock through her hands out of bounds and to go back to Caston on another Rochester turnover. Pollock's been doing a good job keeping herself uh, open in a good position down on the block that just had a little bit of trouble getting it down to her from time to time. That was a pretty good bounce pass just yeah. right through her hand. Yeah. Leads to be around the defense on the block right side the wrap around pass. It's going to be waved off because we're going to have another traveling on the Castle Lady Comets. Another turnover for Caston. 4-3 to three Rochester with 4.05 to play. Can you hear me all right? 4-05 four to, four to, to play in the first quarter. <laughs> And Joel will be uh, talking to junior varsity basketball coach Randy Wynn at the uh, at the halftime break. That's good radio right there. You want to turn into the, tune into that. Smith jumper in the lane is no good. Rebound to the Castle Lady Comets. Now stolen by Rochester. Murphy's shot is no good. The weak side rebound to Pollock. The putback is good. Once again, Brian Pollock in the right place at the right time. Rochester up 6-3 to three with 3.35 to play in the first quarters. Leesenby works near the uh, volleyball line between the rings. Bounce pass left side to Hot. Hot around the defense on the baseline. Throws up a five-footer. No good. B. Pollock rips the board and gives it to Holland. Riley runs for the instructions by Coach Tony Stasiak. Crossover dribble in the paint. Lot pass down low to Hunter. And Hunter is going to be tied up down low. Nice defense by Fry. And it's going to stay with Rochester baseline left. Holland will look to get it in with 3.17 to play in the first quarter. Gets it in over the defense to Hunter. Hunter. 10 feet away to the basket. Takes it out to Murphy between the rings. No look pass down low to Holland. Holland around the defense. In the paint. Stops. Pops. Good. Rochester up by five. Go ahead. Holland with her first points of the game. Martinez quickly up the floor. Low pass down low to Brown. Her shot partially blocked. Picked up by Holland. Riley runs the other way. Rochester up by five. Lop pass ahead to Smith. Her left hand lamp is up and in. No good. Pollock at the rebound. The putback is good. Timeout cast. And it's a 30 second timeout. You're listening to High School Girls Basketball 92.1. New Holland G7000 Series tractors from New Holland, Rochester take tractor performance to new heights with groundbreaking power, best in class hydraulics, and high visibility horizon cab. These 135 to 180 PTO horsepower tractors offer the new fast steer turning option, a must-have feature for row crop or loader work. It lets you make a full right or left turn with only a 10-degree nudge of the steering wheel. Step up to a new level of performance with a new Holland T7000 tractor from New Holland, Rochester, Highway 25 South. Zebra Basketball, WRO. 248 to play in the first quarter. Rochester up 10 to 3. And after the cast and comment timeout, we'll have the basketball going to our left. I'm sorry, going to our right. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. The original five on the floor for both squads. Scratch that. Lindsay Mitchell into the game for the first time tonight, and she replaces Carly Murphy for the Rochester Lady Zebras. So now Martinez runs the point for casting, gives the lead to be on the right wing behind the arc against Mitchell. And the entry pass is kicked away by Lindsay. It'll stay with casting on the bounce baseline right. Uh, oh, Riley Pfeiffer also in the game as well for uh, Rayan Hunter. Fry looks to get it in over Pollock. Does so Leesenby in the right wing. She'll fire a long three. It's good. Marley Leesenby fires a long three for Rochester and cuts this lead to four. And it's 10 to six Rochester, 225 to play first quarter. Holland works left side. 
Gets a pick. Picks up a dribble just inside the arc to Mitchell on the left wing. Lindsey Mitchell against Martinez. Works left side. Now inside the arc. Lob pass down Little Piper. Riley, the wraparound pass to Pollock. Here, her shot off the glass is no good. Ball being battered around and tipped out of bounds by Pollock. It'll stay with Casson going to our right. Lady Commas doing a good job of help defense when they get that ball down low on the block. They've always got two people. Pollock's been battling a double crowd, a double team, and uh, so was Hunter. Tierney Rensler comes in for the first time for Casson. She replaces Hot in the Lady Comets lineup. Two minutes to play. First quarter, Rochester by four. Leesenby works left side. Now left elbow out to Tierney Rensler. High on the left side. Rensler now top to Fry. Stands in the volleyball line between the rings. Now right side to Leesenby. Leesenby another three. Same spot. Good again. Same exact spot. She just hit a three moments ago, and now it's 10 to 9, Rochester. Quickly to Smith. Smith pull up jumper on the glass. No good. Fry with a rebound. Adrian Fry kicks to Leesenby, and Caston runs down by one with 90 seconds to play, first quarter. Marley works against Mitchell in the backcourt. Picks up her dribble, gives to Rensler. Tyranny. A couple of dribbles, has it picked, and Riley Holland now runs the other way. Holland has the steal, pushes down the right side of the floor. 120 to play, first quarter, Rochester by one. Mitchell fires a 15-footer, no good, and the rebound to Martinez, and Kaylee Smith is going to be whistled on the reach in. It's going to back to Caston here going to our right. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. 114 to play, first quarter, Rochester up 10-9. And it'll be cast to basketball. A little token press. Applied by Lindsey Mitchell. As Leesenby brings it up to four for her Lady Comets. Crosses the timeline right. Works to the right wing. Now the right corner of the baseline. Cut off by the defense. He's down low to Brown. Brown turn around. Jumper over. Piper's off the glass and good. And Casson back up 11 to 10. Under a minute to play. In the first quarter, Casson up 11 to 10. It'll be Rochester basketball going to our left. Holland in the volleyball line. Wiley, couple of dribbles. Works right side. Now back door down low to Pollock. See Pollock, her shot's no good off the front of the iron, but a foul coming. And that's going to send Pollock back to the line to shoot two for her Lady Zebras. Forty-five point four to play in the first quarter. Cast it up, eleven to ten. Michaela Rands, a five-eleven junior, will check into the basketball game for the first time after their first free throw by Pollock. Her free free throw bounces around the rim and falls through. We're tied at eleven. So Rands in for the first time tonight. Adrian Fry will sit. Forty-five point four to play in the first quarter. We're tied at eleven. And Pollock at the line for one more. Be ready. Flies a second one. It's good again. Rochester back up 12 to 11. One thing that Coach Stasiak was not happy with was the performance of the line uh, against uh, Twin Lakes. Lazenby travels uh, before the shot, and she's going to give it back to Rochester. They got to the line all right. Yep. Just couldn't hit it when they got there. Yeah. 12 to 11, Rochester. 35 to play in the first quarter. Rochester the ball as Holland rocks it through the center circle. Middle of the floor now. Works to the right wing. Lob pass down Luda Pollock. B in the paint. Throws up a shot off the glass. No good. And long rebound is tipped out of bounds by Caston. It'll stay with Rochester baseline right with two and a half. Of, I'm sorry, 22 and a half seconds to play in the first quarter. Rochester by one. Holland looks to get it in. Lobs it into Smith. Just inside the three-point line. Now to Holland. She'll fire a long three. It's no good. Rebound to Mitchell. Her putback is partially blocked. Ball tipped around. Martinez comes out of the window with 14. Martinez for Caster runs with 12. Martinez goes to the basket. Finger rolls off the glass. No good. And the rebound to Smith with seven. Now Holland with six. Holland comes in the way. Crosses the timeline with four. Holland has it the free throw line with two. Her jumper on the way is short. Rebound by Richler. And that's going to do it for the first quarter. After one, Rochester leads 12 to 11. You're listening to High School Girls Basketball, 92.1 WROI. Back at uh, Rochester High School, we're going to the second quarter. The cast of comments will start uh, the second period with the basketball. Rochester up 12 to 11 here as we start quarter number two. Marley Lazenby, six points in that first quarter for the Lady Commons, two long threes. Yeah. Definitely going to have to keep an eye on her. She's uh, she's definitely ready to shoot some more. Martinez, Martinez with the basketball gives a lead to me. Hit the basket from there drives the right baseline, cut off by Riley Holland. 
Now to Brown, now quickly to Rands, now left side to Martinez, around the defense, goes to the basket, a finger all the way, it was good, how about that move? She finally got one of those to fall, she had a couple looks in the first quarter, just too hard off the bank. Holy moly, Ingrid Martinez, a 5'9 junior. Smith on the baseline, throws up a shot, it's good. Rochester back up 14 to 13. <laughs> Rensler with it high on the left wing. Now top to Rand. Rand holds to the volleyball line. Now to Lizen being on the right side. She'll fire another long three. This one's off the mark. And Murphy the rebound. Murph pushes for Rochester. Middle of the floor. Dribbles against Martinez. Works around the defense to the baseline. Throws up a shot. It's good. 16-13. Rochester back up by three with 6.45 to play in the first half. Rensler got away with the travel there, I believe, drug that pivot foot on the right side. Now Lesenby feeds it down low to Brown. Brown loses it off her foot, picked up by Smith, and now we're going to have a reach in on Caston. And Rochester will keep possession with six and a half minutes to play in the first half up, 16-13. Brown will pick up her second foul, team third. Rochester shot 29% in that first quarter. Caston shot 40%. Caston, six turnovers to Rochester's three. Adrian Fry back into the game, and Anna Brown will sit. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Lady Zebras of the basketball going to our left, leading by three. Holland runs the point against Lesenby. Now high on the right wing. Dribble to the right side, picks up her dribble, cross-court pass, going by Fry. Adrian Fry and Kasten gives to Marley Lesenby, and here come the Lady Comets down by three as B. Pollock will check back in at the next opportunity. Bounce pass to Martinez. Martinez picks up a dribble, down low to Rands. Her jumper off the glass is good. Nice look by Martinez, nice finish by Rands. And the lead is cut to one. Rochester up 16-15, six minutes to play in the first half. Lady Zebras with the basketball. No look pass to Smith. Smith around the pick, and now we're going to have an illegal screen on Riley Holland. That'll be a turnover on Rochester and a personal foul on Holland. Number 10, Riley Holland. I think that's what you call a moving screen. Yeah, well, <laughs> I think the intention was to set a screen and then make a cut, and she just kind of did it all in one motion. <laughs> so, uh-huh. <clears throat> that's a no-no. Yeah. <laughs> 5.50 to play in the first half. Rochester up 16-15. Rinsler has it. Now quickly to Rand. High on the left side, now to Fry. Fry to Martinez. Around the defense, in the paint, and she is going to be called for a travel. And coming in for the first game, first time tonight is Alexa Holland. We're going to call her X. X. Okay. And she replaces Sister Riley. The X factor. That's right. Yeah. So X will run the point. Just a freshman for Rochester. X is 5-4 and a freshman for Rochester. 16-15 Lady Zebras. Five and a half to play in the first half. Pollock in the lane. Her jumper over. Fry is good off the glass. Rochester back up by three with 5.20 to play in the first half. Pollock with her 12th point of the ball game. Leesenby with the basketball. with Oh, gets a great pick from Fry. Throws up a shot at the glass. High off the window is good. Uh, Adrian Fry just welcomed X Holland to the varsity <laughs> level. Yeah, and always keep your eyes open to what's coming in front of you. A Pollock on the block. B in the paint. Kicks it out to X. Holland behind the arc. She'll fire a three from downtown. It's short. And the rebound to Martinez. Casting clears. Down by one. And Martinez brings it up the floor with 4.50 to play in the first half. Leaves and beat. Stops. Pops. Off the window is good. Casting back up. 19-18 with 4.50 to, 4.40 to play in the first half. Holland. Alexa runs a point for Rochester. Walks up through the center circle. Picks up her dribble. Gives it to Hunter High on the... Uh, uh, Hunter just kind of basically threw it out of bounds there. There was no course of direction of that pass. And Coach Stasiak and Rochester will use a 30-second timeout. You're listening to High School Girls Basketball, 92.1 WROI. You've been waiting for the right time to buy a new vehicle. The time is now. With the Big Finish 2012 at Braun Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram in Winnemac, the new 2013 Chrysler 200 is an affordable mid-sized vehicle with great fuel economy and up to a $3,500 rebate. Braun Chrysler has several to choose from. From, including
including the 200, 200S, and 200 LTD. Make a bold move. Take advantage of the Big Finish 2012 at Braun Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, U.S. 35 South in Winnemac. Online at BraunChryslerDodgeJeep.com. Four minutes, 30 seconds to play in the first half. Casting on top, 19-18. And after the turnover on Rochester, they'll have the basketball back going to our right. Fry gets it into uh, Lesenby. Marley brings it up the floor against Holland. She's the points leader right now for the Lady Comets. Lesenby, Lesenby. yep, uh, eight. Oh, I'm sorry, ten. Martinez to Fry to Rensler. Tyranny to Rand, top of the key between the circles of the free throw line. To Martinez, Martinez against Smith. Goes to the basket. She's going to be called for travel. Uh, what? That's close. Yeah, she goes to the basket really hard. She does. She's got uh, a real quick first step. Unfortunately, she's <laughs> been too quick a few times. <laughs> got the travel call. Another freshman comes into the game for Rochester. Becky Malco, a 5'6 freshman. So now X. And now Riley's back in the game. Riley Holland back in. So you got both of Riley and X on the floor. Holland. Yeah, Becky Malco stands in the corner and gets the pass from uh, X Holland. Down low to Smith. Kaylee Smith turn around, jumper too hard off the glass, and Fry ripped the ball away from B. Pollock. Down to Lesenby. Quickly up the floor for Casson. Lady Comets up 19 18. And Lesenby gives the Rensselaer high on the right side against Malco. Now to Martinez. Martinez behind the arc on the right wing. Looks top to Fry. Works against Riley Holland. Now left side to Rensselaer. Rensselaer to Dr. Martinez. She'll fire a quick three over Smith. It's good. Casting up now 22 to 18. Biggest lead of the game for the Casting Lady Comets of four. And Rochester with it with uh, 320 to play in the first half. Becky Malco's three is no good. And X Holland, the weak side rebound. It gives to Malco now in the corner. Pass inside is knocked away. Ball loose. Going to be tied up. Rochester will keep possession. Pollock on the floor for the Lady Zebras fighting for the loose ball. 314 to play in the first half. Casting up 22 to 18. And Holt back into the game for Caston, and she replaces Martinez. Riley Holland looks to get it in. Law pass over the defense to her sister, Alexa Holland. Inside the arc, right side, now to Malco, top of the key. Malco against Rensler, works left side. Now pass down low to Pollock. Pollock loses the basketball. Ball still loose, picks up the loose ball. High on the left side, now in the paint. And kicks to Smith. So she'll take the 10-footer right side. No good. Pollock on the rebound. The putback is good. Graham Pollock working hard out there. 2.45 to play, first half. Casting up 22 to 20. Holt, outside to Lesenby. Marley with the basketball against Alexa Holland. In the paint, stops, pops, puts a shot up, no good. Ball being tipped around. Tyranny Rensler comes up with it. Rensler's putback is no good. And Holland, Alexa gets the rebound, pushes quickly for Rochester, left side of the floor. Holland spots up for three from downtown. It's no good off the back of the rim. And now we're going to have a foul coming on B. Pollock for over the back. And Cass are going to get it back up by two with 2.25 to play in the first half. It'll be Pollock, second, team fourth. She'll stay on the floor. Rochester to full court press. Fry will look to get it in. And Murphy will come in now. And Murphy will replace B. Pollock for the Rochester Lady Zebras. And Brad, Brad just said has three personal fouls. 2.25 to play, first half. Cast it up 22 to 20. Fry's pass tipped around. Lesenby has it. Now we're going to have a tie up. Cast will keep possession. Lesenby and, and Riley Holland tied up. It'll stay with Casson out of bounds. And Tierney Rensler and make that Holt will look to get it in. 2.22 to play, first half. Holt looks to get it in. Bounce pass to Lesenby. Stolen by Malco. Gives to Smith. Jumper no good, but a foul coming on Casson. And Kaylee Smith will go to the line to shoot two. 2.20 to play in the first half. Sarah Holt picks up her first team fourth for the Lady Comets. Right now with Pollock out, Kaylee Smith's the tallest Lady Zebra on the floor. <laughs> first one by Smith is good. She'll have one more. Martinez back into the game. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Kaylee Smith on the line for one more for her Lady Zebras. Looking to tie this thing up at 22. Kaylee ready. Second one is no good. And Fry with the board. Adrian Fry now gives to Lesenby. Here come the Lady Comets as Marley walks it up the floor. 
22-21. Out to Martinez. Martinez drives, dump pass down low to Rand, shows a shot up, partially blocked, picked up by Alexa Holland. Holland, middle of the floor for Rochester. Now spin move, no look pass to Malco, throws up a shot from 10 foot, it's good. Rochester back up now, 23-22. to Marley has her pass tipped away, picked up by Riley Holland. And now we're going to have a foul on Caston. And it's going to be Rochester basketball with 152 to play in the first half. Rochester back up 23-22. I would say that the, I'm sorry, Alexa, Alexa Holland and Becky Malco have may have played it together once or twice on a basketball board. Yeah, I, I, as freshman, uh, yeah, maybe not uh, at this level, but definitely uh, been playing a lot of ball together. Malco has it left wing, dribbles around the defense in the paint, dump down low to Murphy. Murphy shot off the glass, is good for five foot in. Rochester back up by three with a minute uh, 30 to play, 90 seconds to play in the first half. Marley Lesenby over the defense to Fry. Adrian crosses the timeline left. A couple of dribbles, picks up her dribble. Now gives back to Lesenby between, between the rings against Alexa Holland. Main to man defense for Rochester. Crossover dribble, takes it outside to Holt. Now to Fry. Fry chest pass to Lesenby. Marley around the defense, and she's going to be fouled on the drive. It's going to be out of bounds to cast, and with 1-10 to play in the first half, Rochester by three. Don't forget, coming up at the break, we're going to talk to Rochester Junior Varsity coach Randy Wynn about uh, the big win tonight. Adrian Fry will look to get it in baseline left for her Lady Comets. Adrian studies, lobs it over the defense to Lesenby. Marley penetrates, throws up a 10-footer off the glass. It's no good. And a rebound to Riley Holland. And we're going to have a foul coming on Rands. And surprisingly enough, no one yet in the bonus. Well, maybe after this one, but I'll leave the bonus. But right. 66 seconds to play in the first half. 25-22. Rochester on top with 66 seconds to play in the first half. And they'll have the basketball as Riley Holland will bring it up for the Lady Zebras. Rochester going to our left. Holland, across the timeline with 57 seconds to Murphy at the uh, elbow left side. Murph around the defense, in the paint, stops, pops, good. 27-22. Rochester back up by five. And then Adrian Fry throws the ball behind Holt and out of bounds. And Rochester will get it back with 44 seconds to play in the first half. Alexa Holland runs a point for Rochester. Holland works middle of the floor with 37 seconds. Now to Murphy. Murphy in the paint. Pushes her way inside. Throws up another shot. No good. Fry with another big board for Caston. And now Lesenby. Marley brings it up the floor with 27 seconds to play first half. Rochester by five. Lesenby picks up her dribble near the timeline. And now to Fry to Martinez. Martinez around Smith. Picks up her dribble. Outside, the ball almost taken away. Fry picks it up. She'll fire a 15-footer. No good. And the ball is tipped out of bounds by Rands. It'll go back to Rochester with 9.2 to play in the first half. 27-22, Rochester. And I'm guessing Coach Stasiak will want the final shot of the half. Doesn't have to stall for very long. Riley will bring it across the timeline with seven. You're right. Now with six, with five. Works right side, gives to X with two. She'll fire a three with one. It's good. At halftime, Rochester up by eight at 30 22. You're listening to High School Girls Basketball, 92.1 WROI. For Caston. Rochester shot 42% in that first half. And Caston shot with five turnovers. Caston shot 43%. With 12 turnovers again in that first half here at Rochester. Holland down low to Hunter. Hunter then fouled the shot. She'll go to line for two. I, like the casting fans, Brad, thought that Brown got that one clean. Yeah, I thought so too. Unfortunately, she's going to pick up foul number three. And Ray and Hunter, one of the two seniors for the Ladies Hebrews, will go to the line to shoot two. Again, Rochester up 30 to 22 with 7.49 to play in the third quarter. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. First one for Hunter is on the way is good. We've got one more. Nine point lead is the biggest of the evening for Rochester. One more coming for Hunter. Brand ready. Sets herself. Fires a second one. No good. And Fry with the board. Adrian Fry gives to Marley Lesenby. And here come the Lady Commons down by nine with 7.40 to play in the third quarter. Keep it over there, 
Marley works your left wing for the class to Comets. Bounce past the whole top of the key now. Right side of Martinez. Long three for the Lady Comets is no good. And Hunter with the board. Down to Murphy. Coach Stacy X says, let's push it. Murph quickly up the floor for Rochester. Crossover dribble, middle of the floor. Now in the paint. Lob pass down little Hunter. Ray and Hunter shot off the glass is good. Rochester up now by 11 at 33 to 22. Hunter with zero points in the first half gets the first three of the second half. <laughs> Martinez high on the right side. Now to fry behind the arc. Looks at a three. Now Hunter comes out to guard her. Now talk to uh, Martinez. Bounce pass to Lesenby. Marley with the ball against Smith. Dribbles left hand. Goes to the basket. Stops. Pops. Nope. Hunter with a big board. Ray and Hunter now gives to Murphy. Rochester runs up by 11. with 7.50 to make that 6.50 to play in the third. Hunter loses the basketball. B. Pollock picks up the loose ball. She'll go to the basket against Fry. Her jumper is no good. In and out. Ball being tipped around. And Lesenby comes out of there with it. Lesenby, middle of the floor, has the ball tipped away from behind and picked up by Murphy. Before it goes out of bounds, Rochester will bring it back to our right, up by 11. Murph, pass down low to Riley Holland. She, her jumper from 10 feet is no good. And the rebound to Lesenby. Caston runs the other way. Rochester up 33-22, 6.20 to play in the third quarter. Marley around the defense. Pulls up from 8 feet, no good. And Hunter with another board. Rayan clears to Riley Holland. And the Lady Zebras bring it up the floor as Coach Stasiak says, let's go down a little bit. And Riley Holland brings it across the timeline right. Behind the arc right wing. Pushes the defender back into the paint. Now outside to Hunter. Down low to Pollock. B in the paint. Nice defense by Fry. Throws the ball right into the hands of Brown and, and turnover. Caster runs the other way. Let's be to my left. Throws up a shot off the uh, elbows. No good. Weak side rebound to Smith. And she clears the Murphy. Not a lot of spring in either team's step right now. <laughs> he just kind of a little flat. Like a Yeah, in the third quarter. Murph shot no good. And we're going to have a foul coming on, I believe, Caston. As B. Pollock in pretty good position to get that rebound. Number 24, Adrian Fry. And Fry will pick up her second foul. Michaela Loran back into the game. And she'll replace Anna Brown for the Lacasta Lady Comets. 5.35 to play a third quarter. Rochester up 33-22. And it'll be their basketball baseline right. Riley Holland looks to get it in. And throws the ball right into the hands of Holt. And then Holt is called for a double dribble. So Rochester will get it back after another turnover. Five and a half to play in the third quarter. Again, the JV contest went to Rochester over Caston earlier tonight, 67 to 8. Riley Holland gets it into Pollock. Her jumper off the glass is good. Nice body, but controlled by B. Pollock, who had to lean back a little bit. I was jumping and got that thing to go. Base uh, pass quickly down the court to Holt. She throws up a shot over Hunter. Holland is good. And Caston that time, Brad, broke the press easily. 35-24. Lobs down low to Hunter. Ray and Hunter kicks it out to Murphy. Murph against Martinez at the free throw line. Backs it out behind the arc on the right wing. Murph picks up a dribble. Feeds down low to Pollock. Pollock against Fry. Out to Murphy. Murph loses the handle. We're going to have a loose ball tie up, and it's going to go to Caston on another Rochester turnover. Riley Pfeiffer comes back into the game, and Hunter will sit. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Rochester up 35-24 with 5.14 to play in the third quarter. Martinez. Baseball pass ahead to Marley Lesenby. Just about traveled. Kept her pivot foot right there. Anchor to the ground. Again, no real problem with that press. Fry to Martinez. Foot of the line. Long two-point jump. The jumper's no good. Nice block out by Pollock. She clears the board. Gives to Holland. Riley Holland runs for the Lady Zebras up by 11. Quickly to Smith. To Pollock. Her jumper's no good, but a foul coming on Caston. That's going to send B. Pollock back to the line for two for her Lady Zebras. Alexa Holland and Becky Malco will come back in for uh, Rochester after this first free throw by Pollock. That's going to be Fry's third. So Pollock, a 5'10 junior at the line to shoot two for her Lady Zebras. Number 22, B. Pollock. Katie Henry for Caston will come in to the first opportunity. It'll be her first appearance tonight in the game. Pollock ready. The first to two on the way. No good off the back of the iron. Have one more. So Alexa Holland and Malco in. Sitting down as Murphy and Smith. 
And Adrian Fry will come out with three personal fouls, and Katie Henry in for the first time for her Lady Comets. One more coming for B. Pollock at the charity stripe. Rochester up 35-24. Pollock's second one looks better this time. It is better. Rochester now up by 12 at 36-24, and a little man-to-man pressure in the backcourt. Alexa Holland against Martinez, who has the basketball, stands with the ball above her head. Now dribbles, brings it up the floor, crosses the timeline right. Got the numbers out to this cast, and Martinez throws up a pair off the glass, and it goes. A little contact, no foul, and she got it to go. And now Holt steals the pass from Holland, and now we're going to have a foul on Becky Malco. And Rochester going to give it back to Cass, and now up by 10 with 4.27 to play in the third quarter. So it'll be cast in basketball, going to our left, down by 10, as Holt will look to get it in around Riley Piper. Holt, bounce pass into Martinez. Here comes the double team. Martinez dribbles out of trouble. Middle of the floor, crossover dribble. Now works up the floor, crosses the timeline right in the middle of the floor. And he is outside, high on the right side of Lesenby. Marley with a couple of dribbles between the rings of the volleyball line. Works around Alexa Holland. Outside to Martinez, a long three is good. 36-29, Rochester, four minutes to play in the third. That's her tenth point of the game. She's hit a couple from behind yep. the arc. Yep. Riley, top of the key. Law pass down low to B. Pollock. Pollock against the defense. There's a shot over Rands. No good. Ball being tipped around. We're going to have a foul coming on the floor. And it's gonna, it looks like it's going to be against Rochester as Martinez has another big board for the Lady Comets. That foul's coming against Holland, her second. 3.51 to play in the third quarter. Rochester up 36-29. It'll be cast to basketball going to our left against the man-to-man deep, uh, full court press. Paul looks to get it in. Law pass over the defense to Rands. Now outside to Lesenby. Marley across the timeline, crossover left, dribble. Now switches directions and moves to the middle of the floor, high on the right side of Martinez. Man-to-man defense by the Lady Zebras to Lesenby. First shot partially b- deflected and out of bounds, and actually it wasn't deflected apparently. Rochester going to get it back as Lindsey Mitchell comes back into the game for Rochester, and Piper will sit. Lindsey Mitchell. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. First game of the regular season for Rochester at home, and they're leading 36-29 with three and a half to play in the third quarter. Riley Holland walks it right through the center circle. Now it's a volleyball line between the rings. Now top of the key. She fires a long three off the back of the iron. No good. Ball, ball four. Rands takes it. Now Cassin runs with the numbers. Let's be ahead of Martinez. Right hand. The is good. Pretty good body control there. She got the ball a little bit deep under the bank board. She's still able to sneak it up the glass. Again, a nice body control by Martinez. Alexa Holland around the pick from Sister Riley. Works to the right wing. Now between the rings of the volleyball line, around the defense, now works left side. Now inside the arc of the volleyball line, that makes that the free throw line to Riley. Riley Holland inside the arc, lob pass down to B. Pollock. B against the double team, puts the shot up, good, and a foul! Number 22, B. Pollock. That's good hard work down there by B. Pollock against the double team, was yeah, strong enough to put the shot over the defense and in. Got 19 now on the ball game. Really? Pollock will shoot one. Rand Hunter back in, Murphy back in, coming out as Becky Malco and Alexa Holland. And Pollock, the junior, at the line to shoot one to try to complete the three-point play. Looking to push this lead back to eight. 38-31, Rochester. Pollock's free throw is in and out, no good. Ball tipped around, and Rand comes out of there with a make. Yeah, Rand. Out of Lesenby. Marley Lesenby across the timeline left. Works to the left side of the floor, inside the arc. Stop. Outside to Martinez. Or against Murphy. The baseball pass down low. Taken away by Pollock. And Albie gives to uh, Murphy. Charlie and the Lady Zebras leading by seven. Works right side with 2.25 to play in the third quarter. Down low to Pollock. On the block. Outside to Mitchell. Mitchell inside the arc. Out of Holland. Riley works top of the key. Cut, picks up her dribble. Now down low to Hunter. Brian Hunter backs away in the lane. A baby hook off the glass is no good. Pollock on the rebound. The putback is no good, but a foul coming on Caston. And Pollock will go back on the line to shoot two. 2-12 to play in the third. Rochester up 38-31. And B. Pollock at the line to shoot two for her Lady Zebras. A foul coming against Rands for the Lady Comets. That'll be her third. Pollock ready. Fires a right-handed free throw. It's good as it rattles home. She'll have one more. 
Anna Brown will come back into the game for Kasson, and Katie Henry will sit down. Brianne Pollock, uh, Brian Pollock, that is, will have one more for Rochester. Second freebie on the way for the juniors. Good again. 40-31 Rochester with 2-12 to play in the third quarter. Harley Lesenby across the timeline. Ball tipped away from behind. She picks it up, gets it out somehow to Rand. Down to uh, Martinez. The Lesenby top of the key between the rings, right at the free at the uh, volleyball line. Works right side around Riley Holland. Her shot partially blocked. We're going to say Ray and Hunter is going to pick up some arm on the shot as well. So that's going to send Marley Lesenby to the line to shoot two for her Lady Comets with 1.54 to play in the third quarter. Again, Rochester up by nine. The Hunters first, team third. Lesenby's first one on the way. Hits the front of the rim, hits the backboard, and falls through. She'll have one more. 40-32, Rochester by eight. Lesenby and the Lady Comets with one more. Second one on the way is short. Nice block out by Hunter. She grabs the board and clears to Riley Holland. 150 to play in the third. Rochester by eight at 40-32. Lady Zebras of the basketball going to our right. Holland high on the right side to Murphy. Carly, cross-court pass to Holland to the uh, baseline. Down to Mitchell. Lindsey Mitchell outside to Riley Holland behind the arc left corner. Down the paint. Seems pass down low to Mur uh, Pollock. B, then double dribbles. 90 seconds of play in the third quarter. You got something on the court, I guess. 90 seconds of play in the third quarter. It will be cast of basketball going to our left. I think B lost her Band-Aid. I think it must have been. Nobody wanted to touch it. <laughs> so Marley Lesby brings it up against Riley Holland. Across the timeline left for Lady Commons. Rochester up by eight with 120 to play in the third. Holt, one dribble. Cut off behind the arc. Now top to Rands. Now right side to Martinez. Martinez behind the arc against Murphy in the man-to-man -man defense. One dribble. Left side to Lesenby with 10, uh, 110 to play in the third quarter. Now to Brown. Her jumper's in and out. No good. Weak side rebound to Holt. And now we're going to have a foul, I believe, coming on B. Pollock. We'll have to wait and see, but it'll be a foul in Rochester and out of bounds to cast in baseline right. That is on Pollock. That's her third. 65 seconds to play in the third. Rochester by eight. And the Lady Zebras go to their bench. And Pfeiffer and Smith come in. Pollock with three personals will sit. Also, Lindsey Murphy will sit as well for the Lady Zebras. Seven points in that quarter for Pollock. Martinez gets the pass inbounds from Reyes. Now to Lesenby at the free throw line. Feeds down low to Brown. Backs her way in. Shot over Hunter is no good. And the rebound to Reyes. Hunter and Rochester. Rochester by eight with 50 seconds to play in the third. We'll cross the timeline going to our right. Casson in the man-to-man -man defense. No look pass down low to Murphy. is tipped away. Ball loose. And it's going to be tied up. And Rochester going to keep possession out of bounds with 40.9 to play in the third. Riley Holland will look to get it in. And Katie Henry will come back for uh, Caston. And she'll replace Michaela Rands for the Lady Comets. Tierney Rensler back in for the Lady Comets. And she'll replace Holt. Riley Holland will look to get it in baseline left. Holland has Lesenby's back to her. Holland looks to get it in. And hits it off the back of Marley and out of bounds, and we'll start a new fresh five count. Holland, baseline left. The trigger person to get it in. Holland lobs it into Piper. Riley in the paint, outside to Smith. Now quickly to Holland, Ohio on the left side with 35. Rochester by eight as time winding down here in the third quarter. Holland high on the left side. Works around the defense. Backdoor pass to Murphy. Is tipped away by Lesenby. Picked up by Martinez. Martinez runs for Casson. Left side. Down low to Rand. Rand shot off the glass is no good. Make that brown shot is no good. Riley with a rebound. And now we're going to have a foul on Riley Holland for the elbow. With 17.3 to play in the third. That will be Holland's third. 40 to 32. Rochester up with 17.3 to play in the third. And Katie Henry will look to trigger in the base, uh, the uh, out of bounds pass baseline right. 
Henry will look to get it in around Hunter. Gets it in to Brown. Brown shot over. Piper is good. 40-34 with 10 seconds. Murph runs with nine. Around Martinez with eight. Murphy high on the left side with seven. Murphy with four. Murph in the corner to Smith with one. The three on the way from the baseline is no good. The put back by Hunter is good. After three, Rochester up by eight. You're listening to High School Girls Basketball, 92.1 WROI. Rochester High School, the Lady Zebras are up by 8 at 42-34, and Cass and Comets will start with the basketball. Martinez works on the wing. The up pass down low to Brown. Has on the left baseline, now back to Martinez behind the arc on the left side. Ingrid Martinez out to Fry, who stands between the rings against Hunter. Now back to Martinez, who fires a long three left sides off the back of the rim. No good. Ball tipped around. Hunter comes out of there with it. Ray and Hunter now to Holland. Riley, that is. The only Holland in the game right now for Rochester. Could be three at one time. Just saying. <laughs> Holland. Lot pass to Hunter. Ran. Top of the key. Now to Murphy behind the arc left wing. Murphy a couple of dribbles. Now works top of the key against Brown. Down low to Hunter. Hunter then is fouled on the entry pass by, I believe, Fry. We'll wait and see. It'll be out of bounds to Rochester with 7-10 to play in the basketball game. Again, the Lady Zebra's up by 8. And Kayla Rand will come back in the game. That'll be Fry's fourth for the Lady Comets. And Fry comes out with four personal fouls. So it'll be Holland's basketball. As she looks to trigger in baseline left. Riley studies. Lot pass inside is tipped away, and Smith comes out of there with it, and Martinez is going to pick up the loose ball foul. That's her first. She earned that one. Number 22, Ingrid Martinez. And now Rochester will shoot free throws from here on out. And that's going to send Kaylee Smith to the line for one of the bonus for her Lady Zebras. 7 9 to play in the basketball game. Rochester by 8. Lady Zebras, 7 of 12 from the line tonight. One and one. Kaylee Smith hits her first free throw. She is a 5'8 junior for the Lady Zebras. And one more coming for Kaylee, who's looking to push this lead back to 10 for her Lady Zebras. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman, Rochester High School. Second one is good again by Smith. And now four four press by the Lady Zebras. Martinez with the basketball. Far side of the floor, crosses the timeline. Now high on the right side for Lady Comets. Seven to play in the game, Rochester by 10. Martinez between the rings, out to Lesenby. Marley around Smith in the paint, outside to Martinez. Ooh, she got away with the travel. Now the shuffle. paint goes to the basket, and the shot is no good, and the rebound to Hunter. And Coach Stasiak says, hey, we're up by 10. There's no reason to push it. Murphy right wing against Martinez in the man-to-man -man defense. Down in the right corner, looking for Piper on the block. Picks up her dribble now. He's got to get rid of it. Now bounce pass to Holland. Riley. Cross court pass to Smith. Smith outside to Hunter. Hunter gives back to Riley Holland. Three on the way, left wing. No good off the backboard. Hunter with a rebound. The putback is no good. And cast to the board and ran. Martinez. For the Lady Comets, left side of the floor. Rochester by 10 with 6.15 to play in the game. Lesnabee stops. Pops. Shot from the elbows. No good. Rands with the weak side rebound. Her shot's good and a foul. Michaela Rands will go to the uh, line to shoot one free throw. And she looks to cut the lead to seven. Riley Holland picks up her fourth. Zebra's number 22, B.B. Pollock. Pollock back into the game. X Holland will come back in as well. And Riley will sit. Riley Piper comes out of the game. Back into the game for Cass and his Holt. And Grinchler will sit. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman for Rochester High School. Lady Zebras lead 44-36. One free throw coming for Rand and the Lady Comets. Free throw on the way is good as it rattles home. 44-37. Rochester by seven as Holland, Alexa Holland, will run the point for the Lady Zebras. Walks it through the center circle going left side. Holland behind the arc. Law pass down low to Hunter. Hunter has it tipped away into the hands of Holt. And Caston has it stolen then by Smith. To Holland. Alexa with the basketball between the rings. Coach Stasiak shouts instructions from the bench. 
No reason to hurry. We're up by seven. Pollock down low in the, in the paint. B, bounce pass outside to Smith with 5.38 to play in the game. Now back to Pollock in the paint. Turnaround jumper off the glass is no good. Rebound being fought for. Ball still loose. And Reyes comes out there for Cass and Lesenby. Cass and runs. They've got the numbers. Lesenby stops. Pops. No good. Rebound to Rands, and her shot's no good, but a foul coming on B. Pollock, and B has picked up foul number four. Yep. And that'll send uh, the Lady Commons to the free throw line now during the bonus. Zebra ball, number 22, B. Pollock, at the lock for the Commons. Shooting 524 to play in the basketball game. Rochester up 44-37 to Michaela Rands. The 5'8 junior at the line to shoot two for the Lady Commons. First one's on the way is good. Team Stasiak will come in for the first time. Rands, second free throw for Caston on the way is no good. And Murph with the rebound. Murphy brings it up the floor, across the timeline against Martinez, works to the right wing, now the right corner on the baseline. Murphy cut off by the defense, gives to Holland, down low to Pollock, B in the paint, loses the handle, bounce pass to Murphy, Murph just inside the arc, her 18 footers in and out, no good, and the rebound to Rand. And now Hunter just picked up a foul, and that's going to send Michaela Rand back to the free throw line for one of the bonus. Not very smart. 100 second. 5.05 to play in the game. 44-38. Rochester on top. And Michaela Rands will be at the line to shoot one of the bonus for the Caston. Keaton Stasiak back into the, or into the game for the first time. Keaton is a 5-5 freshman. And B. Pollock with four personals and what, 22 points comes out? 21, yeah. Okay. Michaela Rands went one for two her last trip. The free throw line. The first free throw is good. Nothing but net. And now it's 44-39. One more coming for the sophomore, I'm sorry, the junior, Kayla Rands. Second on the way is in and out, no good. And Murphy, another rebound. It's a five-point lead in favor of Rochester. Biggest lead of the game for Rochester has been 12. Murphy, bounce pass to Holland. Alexa Holland around the defense, in the paint, kicks it outside to Stasiak. Keaton then travels. I think if I were on the bench, I'd have t- t- told Alexa Holland just to pull up and take that. To shoot it about yeah. six feet, and yep. she should have drained They're it. Dropping back off of her, she needs to light it up. Martinez crosses the timeline. Her lady comments down by five with 4.40 to play in the game. Lesnar with a bounce pass. Marley has not come out of this game at all tonight. Martinez against the triple team outside to Lesnar around the defense. Down low to Brown. She is fouled on the shot. She'll go to the line for two. And Ray and Hunter just picked up foul number three. Yes, she did. Four and a half minutes to play in the game. Number 20. Anna Brown has an opportunity to cut this lead. The three with a couple of freebies here. Left-handed free throw on the way. Correct. Short. Number 21. And Rochester will take a timeout. It is a 60-second timeout. You're listening to High School Girls Basketball, 92.1 WROI. What would you do if they put you in power? Would you make toll roads free? Or use the express line when you have more than 15 items? How about lowering your gas prices? The VP Visa with Pump Rewards does just that. Use it virtually everywhere, and you can save when you fill up. Apply today at BP. Account subject to credit approval. Restrictions and limitations apply. BP Visa credit cards are issued by Chase Bank USA NA. See application located inside the station for pricing and rewards details. Purchases made at merchants where non-BP gasoline is sold do not earn rewards. Come check out the amazing deals at the Winning Edge in Rochester. With the winter sports season here, they have all the gear you need. The November special, 10% off for any veteran or active military personnel in celebration of Veterans Day and 10% off basketball shoes and coaching shoes. The Winning Edge offers major apparel brands, Adidas duffel and backpacks, Under Armour and Russell Apparel, and so much more. Visit their webpage, thewinedge.com, or their Facebook page. Call 574-223-6090. Quality products, unique customizing options, and friendly service from the winning edge. Rile Place Drive, Rochester. Zebra Basketball, WROI. Four and a half minutes to play in the basketball game here at Rochester High School. The Lady Zebras leading cast in 44 39 and after Rochester's 60-second timeout, Brown at the free-throw line for the Lady Comets with one more. 
Second one is good this time, and it's 44-40. to Rochester's 10-point lead has been diminished to four. Alexa Holland still running the point for Rochester. A senior, two juniors, and two freshmen on the floor for the Lady Zebras. X jumper, good out of the paint, or I make that on the line, and now we're going to have a foul on Kasten after the shot. Yeah, that's going to be a Brown, is that what they said? Oh, no, Rand. Rand. So Rand. be her fourth. So Holland buries a jumper with her foot on the free three-point line, and that foul is going to result in a uh, free throw for Rochester, who are now up by six, 46-40. And Carly Murphy will step to the line to shoot one of the bonus for Rochester with 4.17 to play in the game. I'm not sure if they knew exactly who was supposed to be shooting. <laughs> Murphy's looking around like, you want me to shoot? Okay. Murph fires the first one. It's no good off the side of the rim. The ball being tipped around, and Caston and Brown comes out of there with it. Now to Lesenby. Lesenby right through the center circle for Caston. Six-point lead for the Lady Zebras. Ball tipped away. Picked up by Alexa Holland. Holland bringing it up the floor. She walks it through the center circle. Works left side. Holland crossover dribble between the circles. That high on the left side to Stasiak. Keaton studies. Couple of dribbles. Down near side to... Murphy, it looks like Coach Stasiak content to take the air out of the ball here. Right. Six-point lead, three and a half to go. Murph runs the baseline, runs all the way through the baseline, keeps a dribble, and goes to the opposite corner. Bounce pass out near the timeline to uh, Holland. Now to Stasiak on the right wing. Keaton studies a couple of dribbles. Now dribbles near the volleyball line. She'll pull it out and let the clock run with 3.25 to play in the ball game. Rochester by six. Keaton crossover dribble down low to Hunter. Ray and Hunter's jumper off the glass, no good. And Rand's with the rebound, and now we're going to have a travel as there was uh, several people on the floor. I believe Keaton Stasiak was on the floor, and Rand's tripped over Stasiak, fell to the ground, and was all the results in the travel. Alexa Holland and Keaton Stasiak out of the game. Riley Holland back in off the beat Pollock in. Both girls, Brad, playing with four personal fouls. Yeah, yeah, and I would guess now that they're going to be a little more aggressive offensively. Hunter, out to Murphy, down to Riley Holland near the timeline. Holland, down the middle of the floor. Works against Lesenby, around the defense, inside the arc on the right wing, cut off by the defense, now outside to Murphy with three minutes to play in the game. Rochester up 46 to 40. Bounce pass left side to Holland. Riley, around the defense, gives in the corner to Smith. Bailey Smith then is fouled as she tries to get to the wing, and Lesenby's going to pick him a foul. That's going to send Keely Murphy to the line for free throws. Be the second for Lesenby. Lady Comets have gone to a man-to-man. -man. So Riley uh, makes that uh, Kaylee Smith at the line to shoot. One of the bonus quit. Kaylee Smith. Smith was two, uh, one of the bonus. First one's good. She'll have one more. Rochester's lead back to seven. Smith with one more for the Lady Zebras. Looking to push this lead back to eight. Second one is good again. 48-40. Rochester on top with 2.55 to play in the game. Full court press by the Lady Zebras. Rand gets it to Fry. Fry quickly up court to Holt. Holt across the timeline to Lesenby. Lesenby at the elbow. Has her pass stolen away by B. Pollock, and she gives to Riley Holland a 2.40 to play in the game. Riley across the timeline against the man-to-man -man defense. Middle of the uh, rings, and now we're going to have another foul on Caston, and that's going to send Riley Holland to the line now for two free throws. Lazenby trying to draw the charge. Number three, Marley Lazenby. And she gets up a little gingerly. Shooting two. Number 10, Riley Holland. 2.36 to play in the game. Riley Holland with two for the Lady Zebras. First of the way is short. Eh. One more coming. And now we're going to have a Caston timeout. It's a 30-second break. You're listening to High School of Girls Basketball, 92.1 WROI. Paint in half the time with new paint and primer in one from Clark and Kensington. Available exclusively at Ace. You'll get top quality, easy-to-use paint and help that can only come from your neighborhood Ace. People who know their stuff will be right there to help you pick the perfect shade from Clark and Kensington's harmonious color palette. So you can get your weekend back with Clark and Kensington's paint and primer in one. Exclusively at Ace, the helpful place. You can find all of your Ace paints at Smith Farm Stores of 
Rochester and Plymouth. Zebra Basketball. Welcome back to Rochester High School. Uh, Val from the Rochester Signal just handed us a score that Winnemac beat Culver tonight, 44-38. That, that that surprises me a bit. Yeah, a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> Culver's going to be Culver's going to be really good. Yeah, we get to see them next Tuesday. By the way, oh, lovely. Yeah, and then the guys open their season next Wednesday at here here at home yeah. against Culver. Culver. Yeah. Okay. Rex Reinholtz, first game as a head coach. Yeah. Second one by X is no, or make that by Riley's no good. Debut. That, yes, that's the word I was looking for. Thank word, you. Is that the word that means first? You know what? <laughs> that, you know, whatever we're paying you, it was worth it after that comment right there with 225 <laughs> one, to play the one game. One word. Price uh, right, jumper, turnaround jumper is no good. Ho- uh, make that Hunter with a rebound. Eight point lead for Rochester with 2.15 to play in the basketball game. Ladies, he was the basketball. Murphy high on the left side as she travels. Turnover Rochester, and the Lady Zebra is going to give it back to Caston with 2.13 to play in the game. Again, Rochester up 48-40. to Three timeouts apiece for both Rochester and Caston. Lesenby picks up her dribble to Martinez, high on the right side. Back to Lesenby. Jumper just inside the arc over the defense, and Holland's no good. Hunter with another rebound. Murph with the basketball now against Martinez. Dribbles the ball up the floor. Hasn't crossed the timeline yet. Throws the ball actually right to the hands of Pollock somehow. Now out to Murphy. Now out to Murphy. He works right side in the corner to Pollock. Hunter now to Holland. And then Holland is fouled by Megan Lesenby. And Riley Holland will, uh, will go back to the line to shoot two for her Lady Zebras. Lesenby will pick up her fourth. Number three, Marley Lesenby at the line for the Zebras. Shooting two. Randall just says that the Ray and Hunter has 14 boards. Wow. Free throw by Holland is good. And she'll have one more. Rochester's lead back to nine with a minute 40 to play in the game. Riley Holland, a 5'5 senior with a second one. No good in and out. And Fry with the board. Adrian Fry gives to Martinez. Cast and pushes. Martinez throws up a shot. We're going to have a foul coming on Murphy, and that's going to send... Uh, Ingrid and Martinez on the line for two for her Lady Comets with 90 seconds to play in the game. Rochester up by nine. Oh. Murphy picks up her first. Murphy. At the line, shooting two for the Comets. Number 20. So Martinez at the line for Caston. With two freebies. Martinez. First one is on the way, no good off the back of the iron. So I have one more. Nine point lead for Rochester with a minute 34 to play in the game. Rochester next in action on Friday against LaVille. At LaVille. <laughs> Second one for Martinez is good, good this time. And it's 49-41. Rochester's up. Cast into the full court press. Brian Hunter bounce pass to Holland. Riley lob pass over the top to Murphy. Back to Riley Holland. Crosses the timeline right in the middle center circle. Out to Smith. Kaylee Smith to Holland on the near side with a minute 20. Out to Murphy with a minute 15. Back to Holland on the right side. Rochester up 49-41. Kaylee Smith with the basketball in the left corner. Smith out to Murphy near the timeline with a minute 10. And she is fouled by Martinez. And Murphy will go to the line to shoot two. With Rochester leading by eight with 69 seconds of play in the game. Post-game interview is coming up after this one. We'll definitely have Coach Tony Stasiak. We're hoping to have Coach uh, Carl Davis as well for Caston. So Murph at the line for two for Lady Zebras, who lead by eight. Murphy sets herself. First free throw on the way is good. Nothing but net. She'll have one more. It's a nine-point lead now for Rochester at 50-41 with a minute nine to play in the game. Murphy's second one on the way is good again. And it's back to a 10-point lead in favor of Rochester with a minute five to play in the game. Martinez quickly to the basket. Throws up a shot. Her shot's good and a foul. And Kaylee Smith just picked up a foul. And Ingrid Martinez will go to the line and shoot one. Oh, we're going to have it out on Pollock? They whistle that against Pollock with a minute three to play in the game. Be her fifth. Okay, don't worry about Pollock. 
Alexa Holland back into the game. And Pollock, who had a phenomenal night from the four, comes out. 21 tonight for B. Pollock. Terry Rensler back into the game. And Marley Lesnarby comes out. Martinez with one free throw. It is good. 51-44. A minute three to play in the game. Alexa Holland is fouled, bringing the ball up the floor, and she'll go to the line to shoot two with 61 seconds to play. Rochester up 51-44. And X will go to the line to shoot two. Caston will use a 60-second timeout. You're listening to Girls Basketball 92.1 WROI. New Holland T7000 Series tractors from New Holland, Rochester take tractor performance to new heights with groundbreaking power, best-in-class hydraulics, and high-visibility horizon cab. These 135 to 180 PTO horsepower tractors offer the new fast steer turning option, a must-have feature for row crop or loader work. It lets you make a full right or left turn with only a 10-degree nudge of the steering wheel. Step up to a new level of performance with the New Holland T7000 tractor from New Holland, Rochester, Highway 25 South. Being a parent has never been tougher. Life just offers too many choices and temptations. Many families find help by becoming affiliated with friends at their place of worship, and that is a great help. If you find your life is offering more questions than answers, why not join us at Grace United Methodist Church? We have services on Saturday at 5.30 p.m. and Sunday at 9.30 a.m. Child care is provided at both services. Our church is located at 7th and Jefferson Streets in Rochester. We welcome you to become a part of our church family. Zebra Basketball, WRO 61 seconds to play in the game. Rochester up 51-44. And after the 60-second timeout from Casson, Alexa Holland will be at the line to shoot two. Riley and Alexa Holland, Kaylee Smith, Tor uh, Carly Murphy, and also Rand Hunter on the floor for Rochester. Adrian Fry, Ingrid Martinez, Michaela Rands, Sarah Holt, and Marley Lesenby on the floor for Caston. Free throw by X is good. One more coming for the freshman. It's good again. 53-44, Rochester back to nine with under a minute to play in the game. Lesenby quickly up the floor. Here's a Martinez. Martinez in the paint. Kicks it out to Lesenby for three. Left corner, short. And the rebound to Holt. Her putback is no good. And a rebound to Holland. Alexa Holland with the board with 40 seconds to play. Down to Murph. Oh, Murphy is hmm. foul, but I think Martinez took the, the ball yeah. away from her. No, I don't think we got a timeout. I think we got a foul. Oh, you're right. As Murphy will walk to the other end and shoot free throws for the Lady Zebras, who are up by nine with 39.2 to play in the game. For the Zebras, shooting two, number 54, Carly Murphy. Murphy's free throw is no good off the back of the iron, so I have one more. One more coming for the junior. Rochester up by nine with 39.2 to play in the game. Second on the way is short this time. And the rebound to Caston. Back quickly to Holt. Now to Fry with 33 seconds. Adrian Fry high on the left side to Martinez. Martinez drives the paint, throws up a shot. No good. Gets her own rebound. The putback is good. Timeout, Caston. It'll be a 60-second timeout with 25 seconds to play in the game. You're listening to High School Girls Basketball, 92.1 WROI. Jennings Insurance, your professional peak and insurance agency located in Argus and Rochester, believes in the game of life. It pays to make sure you're safely covered with insurance. They can help you cover all the bases, whether it's auto, homeowners, life, business, health, or an annuity. At Jennings Insurance, they'll help you compare rates and prices. That's Jennings Insurance and Pekin teaming up to help you plan ahead for protection against those unexpected plays in the game of life. Reward yourself this holiday season with a great deal from Braun Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram of Winnemac. Braun Chrysler wants to help you find the vehicle on your wish list with the Big Finish 2012. Like the new 2013 Chrysler 200, 200S, or 200 LTD, they have several 200s in stock with great fuel economy and up to $3,500 in rebates. These cars are luxurious and very affordable. Remember, it's all about how you finish. So come see the Big Finish 2012 at Braun Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram on US 35 South in Winnemac. Zebra Basketball. 
five seconds to play in the game. Rochester up 53-46. And after Caston's timeout, Rochester had the basketball needing to go the length of the floor. Caston has down to their final timeout. Rochester has three left. I'll take the Duke-Kentucky score if anybody's listening and watching. <laughs> Murphy looks to get it in. Murph studies. Baseball pass down court to Smith. Smith holds it up and is fouled by Holt. 22 and a half seconds to play in the ball game. And Kaylee Smith will go back to the line to shoot two for Rochester, who lead is 53-46 with 22 and a half seconds to play in the game. Number 13, Sarah Holt. Kaylee Smith on the line for Rochester for two. First one on the way is good. Wholesale changes for Caston. Fry, Lesenby, Brown, and Martinez back in. Rensler, Madison Schultz, Rand, and Katie Murphy come out. 54-46. Rochester on top, and Kaylee Smith will have one more for Rochester. Fry is back. Second one on the way is short. Rebound to Brown. Gives to Fry with 19. Adrian Fry brings it up to four across the timeline right with 15. Fry out to Martinez. And she stays from going out of bounds. No, she doesn't. He goes out. With 12 seconds of play in the game. Rochester by eight. 12 seconds of play. Rinsler. Rand. Henry. Murphy looks to get it in. Looking for the home run pass again. And it's taken away by Holt with eight. Holt has it with seven. Holt loses it from behind. Has it tipped out of bounds from behind with five and a half. And it'll be cast to basketball out of bounds. Baseline right. Please quit. Quickly inbounds to Brown. Throws a shot up over Smith. No good. Hunter with another board with two. And that's going to do it. Rochester opens their whole portion of the regular season with an eight-point win over the cast of Comets on a final of 54-46. Post-game thoughts, post-game interviews after this on 92.1 WROI.